It's all a promo and I was just going through the comments. It's, 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 it's really amazing how, how this, this series has I know, I mean, done wonders for you. I have so negative role. और इतने नेगेटिव रोल करने के बाद में भी लोग सब मुझे कहते हैं बहुत प्यारे लगे हो इस शो में तो इट्स लाइक आई जस्ट इट्स जस्ट द मोस्ट अमेजिंग कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू गेट जो कंट्रोवर्सीज के साथ में जो जुड़ी रहती है आश्रम के साथ में आप उसको कैसे देखते हैं बिकॉज़ यू नो इट्स अ टफ टाइम सी एक ही चीज सब कुछ अच्छी लगती है कुछ ना कुछ नुक्स तो दूसरा कोई तो कोई कोई ना कोई तो निकालेगा सो आई डोंट टेक इट टू माय हार्ट वैसे भी मुझे लोग कहते हैं तेरे चेहरे पे जब तू कुछ फील करता है तो उस चेहरे पे सीधा आ जाता है तो शायद एक नेचुरल थिंग है मेरी People keep asking Prakash Ji, how could you even imagine Bobby Deol playing this role? He said, I wanted someone who, who has got that innocence, who has got that uh, reputation, who, you know, never being in a controversy exactly, and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And when people look at that person, they think it's a saint. Mm. You know, I never thought I would play a saint, but I'm just saying. <laughs> मेरे साथ आज फिर से हैं बॉबी देओल और आश्रम में इनको जिस तरीके से सुपर स्टारडम की तरफ फिर से लेकर आए हैं आश्रम थ्री के प्रोमो से फिर से नाज़ा हो रहा है कि दैट हाउ पॉपुलर दिस सीरीज इज़ इट इज़ ट्रेंडिंग एट द नंबर 19 राइट नाउ एज 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 वी टॉक ऑन यूट्यूब एंड ओवर नाइन थाउजेंड कॉमेंट्स एंड देर कॉमेंट्स आर एक्सट्रीमली फ्लैटरिंग फॉर बॉबी देओल बहुत बहुत स्वागत आपका बॉलीवुड गामा पे बॉबी Thank you, yes. Thank you so much. कैसे आप देखते हैं that that uh, so before coming I just saw the promo and I was just going through the comments. It's it's it's, it's really amazing how how this this series has. I know. I mean, uh, done wonders for you. I'm all you know. When I was doing the series, I never realized uh, how popular and, and what a huge fan following it will get. Hmm. But वो किसी को कभी पता नहीं होता जब फिल्म लगती है तो पता नहीं होता कितनी चलने वाली है कितनी क्या reactions आने वाले हैं लेकिन इतना मालूम था कि कहानी इतनी इंटरेस्टिंग है कि लोगों को पसंद आएगी कहानी एंड द वे इट वॉज एक्सेप्टेड बाई दी ऑडियंस एंड वे पीपल ऑफ लव मी मतलब मैंने इतना नेगेटिव रोल किया है और इतने नेगेटिव रोल करने के बाद में भी लोग सब मुझे कहते हैं बहुत प्यारे लगे हुए इस शो में तो इट्स लाइक आई जस्ट इट्स जस्ट द मोस्ट अमेजिंग कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू गेट आई थिंक दो कॉमेंट्स दैट यू मेक विल इन यू लुक गुड दो सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉमेंट्स विच which are very pretty pretty interesting uh but you know it's a uh, jo, jo controversies ke sath mein jo judi rehti hai ashram ke sath mein aap usko kaise dekhte hain because you know it's see, a tough time see in our country if you see it has got 1.6 billion viewership hmm. so imagine how many people have liked it right right so there will be always few elements who have their opinion and you cannot take that away from them you know, everybody has hmm. ek hi cheez sabko to achhi lagti na kuch na kuch nuks to dusra koi to koi koi na koi to nikalega Again, it's been made very responsibly, mm. and I think for every negative, if there are ten negative people, there are like hundred thousand people who are positive about it. You know, so mm. it is a part and parcel of being in this industry. Because आज से ही नहीं कितने सालों से ये ये जो चीजें होती हैं लोग के reactions इतने negative होते हैं वो होता जाता है और you cannot stop it from happening. You know, so I don't take it to my heart. मैं एक एक्टर हूँ मैं चाह रहा हूँ मैं अलग किस्म के किरदार प्ले करूँ और जितना हो सके अपने अपनी पूरी जान लगा कर उन कैरेक्टर्स को प्ले करूँ ताकि लोग मेरे काम को पसंद करें सो आई थिंक इट्स ऑल अबाउट स्टोरी टेलिंग एंड एंड इट्स अ टॉपिक व्हिच नीड्स टू बी टोल्ड बिकॉज इट्स इट्स समथिंग वे इट्स हैपनिंग अराउंड इन आर सोसाइटी एंड यू नो देर दीज देर सो मैनी ग्रेट बाबाज हुज नेम इज यूज बाई दीज बैड एलिमेंट्स to take advantage of innocent people mm. you know so this exists it not in just in in this it's even in as there's so many people who are big businessmen who have cheated the country millions and billions of people their money and politicians and there's uh, all sorts of people who do these things you know so it's mm. just trying to show a bad person how he can use the innocence of a person and take advantage of it basically yeah. that's what ashram is एक बदनाम ट्राइंग टू डिपिक्ट ओके एंड चंदन रॉय सानिया वेरी फाइन केमिस्ट्री इन इट इज इट इज आई मीन एक सबसे अच्छी चीज ये हुई कि सारे एक्टर्स जो हैं इस फिल्म इस शो में एक मेक फैमिली की तरह बन गए कोविड जस्ट हिट अस एज सुन फिनिश द फर्स्ट सीजन 
and uh, we got into touch every day on WhatsApp chat, and uh, we, we just became closer and closer, you know, because everybody was there. Nobody had attitudes. Nobody was there. Everybody was trying to do their best, and there was always discussion when we used to sit in the evenings. I was very busy, so many long story lines were being told. So these are all they are expert actors, you know. Mm. They have done so much uh, training and everything. So I used to sit with them. And they used to always motivate me, mm. you know, and I used to be, and it was just fun, you know, I mean, the, that's why when you, you see the performances also, everybody was so much in sync with each other, all mm. the actors, because you need to understand each other as people, so when you're performing, you know how they're going to be doing it. I think that really worked in the show. Okay, uh, see, we have discussed a lot discuss that, that you've always been a very fine actor, you, you've seen a lot of stardom. Um, off late, like in just the way you acting, that is something that I'm sure that even you have admitted that maybe this is the best phase of your career. एक interestingly एक चीज जो आपने you know जो आपके acting में सामने आ रही है वो एक जो आप use of silence है जो आप silence को जिस तरीके से आप internalize करके use कर रहे हैं आँखों से जो बात कर रहे हैं वो एक I think बहुत ही interesting सा एक मुझे लगता है कि phase या ये tool आपने adapt किया है in the recent times and it is working for you. I think it's uh... The way the characters I've got, mm. and uh, my characters sometimes talk a lot and sometimes they just speak through their eyes. Mm. And in fact, I think I've understood myself more. Mm. I have so many things I've seen in my life. Mm. I have so all those experiences come in, come into, you know, come handy because it's only how you understand yourself that you can use those incidents mm. or those experiences mm. of your life. And I think somewhere will the rather pull gear I can go into that area of my mind and think about all those things. And sometimes those things bring the perfect expression, you know, and you feel the emotion. And I think uh when you feel something on your chest, it's a natural thing in my but I think it's just the characters I've played which has given me that chance to even try. Because it's very difficult to be in a scene and not speak a word. Yeah, exactly. You know, but to feel the emotion and everything. And I've really worked hard, actually, you know. I, before Ashram, every one and a half months, I would go through my lines. Mm. Because you need to understand exactly what every word means and how the sentence is flowing. Because you get a dialogue, you read it, you don't understand what it's written. It's not written in your rhythm. But you have written it in your rhythm. But you have to make it in your rhythm. And sometimes it becomes difficult. Sometimes you can discuss it with the writers, like, can we change the lines here and there? But I've come to realize that once you start reading, 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 it just becomes a part of your rhythm also. Okay, okay. And then you can feel the emotions, and sometimes there's a silence in between the scene when you're talking to someone. So it just comes across. I've not yeah. really got any, you know, I'm just there on the set, and I just naturally respond to what I'm doing. Right. And just say, Skirdar ke kar baat ke, they speak interesting cheese ye hai that. You know that uh, obviously he has this this fixation with women and um, he he tends to lecture as well. But it's a you know a fine fine line that you are managing somehow. Maybe you are not overdoing it. You know? That is something that which is which is very interesting. How is that 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 you that you manage? See, my character is written in such a way that they know what he is. I don't have to overdo anything. And I, you know, I go there and share. Khada hai par. Mm. शेर ओवर चिल्लाएगा तो नहीं ना आपको डराने के लिए आप तो शेर को देख के वैसे ही डर जाओगे उसने थोड़ा देखा आपकी तरफ तो आप लोग बोलते रहे ये लोग देख रहा है तो बेसिकली द पावर बाबा कैरेक्टर हैज बाबा निराला इट इज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट ही नोज दैट ही डजन हैव टू डू टू मच टू गेट द अदर पर्सन रेस्टलेस और फील द इमोशन यू नो इट जस्ट कम्स लाइक दैट एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वॉट प्रकाश जी है टोल मी वन आई फर्स्ट मैट हिम फॉर द शो I said, Prakash ji, first of all, you have given me a role for the father. Okay, I'm very excited. I wanted to do something different. But I said, what do I do? Do I do a reference? Do I do something? Because I don't know anything about that world. I said, no, I don't have a reference. I just read the script. I just read it. I feel it. And one thing to remember is that you are the father. You say whatever you say, people listen to you. You go where you go, people तेरी पूजा करते हैं तो तुझे कुछ एक्स्ट्रा करने की जरूरत नहीं एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट इट इज यू यू टू जस्ट बी 
yourself and your charisma, your your uh, characterization, which has been written, which is seen through other people's eyes when you see us. You know, you see people talking about Baba Nirala and the way they worship him or the way they're scared of him. You just walk into the room and it just comes across. Now, as you said that done responsibly, Book Prakash Ji, he has a he has a long career and he's someone who has made, I think, very interesting films, films that have stood the test of time. And um, he understands politics, he understands uh, uh, the current affairs and so he, he always has had a, like a point of view. When he's making something like this, so obviously there is, there is more to it in terms of he, he's trying to say something and there is a, there's a point that he's trying to make. Uh, do you think that that makes it more credible in a way with someone, someone I think of his stature? Prakashi, from whatever movies I've seen, mm. he's always chosen topics which are never spoken about. Mm. You know, and he's made movies out of it and they've been very successful. Right. You know, so I think it's, it's just his, his approach to the life he's lived, the experiences mm. he's had, mm. and uh, the want to make things right mm. without and doing it very responsibly, right. not to hurt anyone's sentiments, you know. And uh, so I think I think Prakashji is the reason why this show is what it is, the way mm. it is shaped up, the way it comes across, the way you react, inter you feel it and interact with it, and you can relate to it right. because he's seen those that part of the world. You know? mm. And then he's almost six, seventy years old, man. He's so fit. Mm. He's very fit. Yeah, he is really fit. So he's got mm. so much experience. Man. So mm. even when I'm shooting with him, he has to just come and tell me, "Okay, he's going to do an essay karte." And then I said, "Okay, ha, essay karte to." You know, so he knows how mm. to fine tune and tell me something, and I will. He knows his actors, you know. So it's really nice working with him. Because mm -hmm. I was very nervous. Better than shooting Karata, I remember that I was seen in the hospital. Uh, Tushar, who was a co actor, was seen in the hospital mein, later. He was seen in the hospital. And I was so nervous. 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 Loudspeaker is And I was doing it and I said, Prakash, yeah, fine, fine. So I said, yeah. Does he really like what I did? Or is he just, you know, saying okay? Fair. But he was always happy from the word go and I was really glad, you know, that he knew that he was saying the other day that Peladin say me go pada telgia ki ye. His name was Pagarliya. So I think uh, I think casting makes a lot of difference also. Of course. I mean, people keep asking Prakash Ji, how could you even imagine Bobby Deol playing this role? Mm. You know. So, he said, I wanted someone who, who has got that innocence, who has got that uh, reputation, who, you know, never being in a controversy exactly. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And when people look at that person, they think it's a saint. Mm. You know, I never thought I would like a saint, but I'm just saying. <laughs> But that's, I think that's the reason why, I mean, nobody would have ever offered this role to me, ever. Right. You know, they would have taken someone, according to the casting director, someone who's done these kind of roles and given it, you know. So, that's when I was so happy when I got this chance to do this. It was like a gift given to me. Right. Uh, now, the sort of reach that the platform has is, is truly, truly humongous. Yeah, it is. When you, when you now travel within India and you go to, say, various towns for, for your shoots and everything, what, what does it tell you about the popularity that this particular character has, has got for you? And com if you compare it with, with other characters that you played in your career. I remember when I used to do films earlier, the name of your character used to get very popular, the film did well. Mm. So whenever you used to go in your car, they used to call you out by your name. Mm. You know, like when I did Barsat, so mm. whenever I used to go in the car, so Badal, Badal. Then when I did another film, there was another name and they would call me that. So now after many years, when I was, whenever I go, anywhere I go, airport security say, leke, do sick city me poncho, sab ashram ka bar hai, sara japnaam, sara japnaam. Oh, bhi abhi da abhi kare ve. Haan, so it, it has become like, it's just amazing, you know, like this is a reaction you used to see a lot earlier on. And it's just happened, you know, and it's all thanks to MX player because they have such mm. a huge reach. Mm. You know, they have promoted this film to another level. Film, I keep saying film because my film's a <laughs> web series. I mean, I've never seen so many banners put up. Exactly. I was like, wow, Mumbai city belongs to 
बाबा बाबा निराला यू नो इट फ्रेंड लाइक दैट ऐसे उसने अपना डेरा यहाँ लगाया उसके सब चेलों ने उसकी बैनर लगा दिए एंड आई थिंक इज जस्ट अमेजिंग आई वॉज जस्ट ओवर वेलम बन आई सो सो मनी पोस्टर्स एंड बैनर्स पुट अप एंड आई थिंक एवरी बड़ी फॉलो सूट यू नो आफ्टर दैट ऑल दी अदर कंपनीज नाउ आई ट्राई टू मैक्सिमाइज पुटिंग पोस्टर्स लाइक हाउ एम एक्स प्ले डिड सो आई थिंक इट्स बिकम अ ट्रेंड अगेन एंड नाउ आई एम श्योर दिस टाइम ऑन ऑल्सो यू सी अ लॉट ऑफ एक बदनाम आश्रम पोस्टर्स है ओके आप अपनी पुरानी फिल्मों के बारे में बात कर रहे थे आपके करियर में गुड्डू धनोआ का क्या क्या रोल है गुड्डू भैया आई कॉल एम गुड्डू भैया इज एक्चुअली माई अंकल बट आई हैव ऑलवेज कॉल्ड मी बिकॉज आई हैव सिंस आई वाज अ किड एंड गुड्डू भैया ही टू फर्स्ट बी माई हाउस ही हैड नो वर्क ही टेक अस टू स्कूल टेक अस फ्रॉम स्कूल बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलवेज हैव देन ही जॉइन प्रोडक्शन एंड देन फ्रॉम प्रोड्यूसिंग becoming a production manager he became a director and he made a film with akshay and that became a super hit and that was his journey from nowhere mm. to making it so big so i've had a great relationship with him you know i've done some mm. in fact bichu i did with him of course and then i did shaheed with him then i did quite a few films with him so that's what my relationship is with gudu bhai all right and uh, main aapka ek interview padha tha that, uh, that apparently you were supposed to jab we met अरे अभी ये कहानी ना एकदम से जब मैं बोलता था तो कोई मुझे सुनता नहीं था मैं बोल नहीं रहा तो सब मेरे को पूछ रहे हैं मैं आज पढ़ा मैंने मुझे द थिंग इज सी इट्स अ ओल्ड स्टोरी नाउ आई स्पोक अबाउट इट इयर्स बैक आई हैव नो लेट बाइगॉन्स बी बाइगॉन्स यू नो इट्स इंडस्ट्री में होता रहता है ये सब वो सपोज टू दैट फिल्म आई वाज वर्किंग विद आई डोंट वांट टू रिपीट माय सेल्फ एक्चुअली बिकॉज़ इन केस इज अ स्वीट हार्ट इट्स जस्ट दैट व्हेन अपॉर्चुनिटीज don't come your way then you have to make decisions i think you had to decide and not take me mm. because all the people had approached for it mm. are the same people who did the film and i was in front of it all right okay so that's how it was but that happened i have nothing against them right and i'm sure that you'd love to work with him definitely 